Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. As shown in the previous lesson, all form data received from a distributed form is stored in an associated form response file. In this lesson, you will examine managing data within a form response file. First note that the form response file is a PDF portfolio file, however you cannot edit either the layout or details view of a form response file. All the usable tools appear in a toolbar at the left side of the layout view of the file. When you open a form response file, the welcome page appears on screen. You can click the Get Started button at the bottom of the welcome page to access the data in the form response file. To import new responses within a form that has been saved to a local network folder, click the Update button in the toolbar at the left side of the form response file. A message box then appears in the upper right corner of the file to inform you of any new responses that were imported. To filter the form responses in this view, click the Filter button in the toolbar at the left side of the form response file. Then use the Select Field Name drop-down to select the name of the field in the form by which to filter the results. Then use the next drop-down that appears below that to choose a comparison criteria. Then enter or select the comparison criteria to use in the third field that appears. Then click the Add Filter button to finish creating the filter. To create another filter, repeat the process again. You can create as many filters as you want. You can use the Filter Settings drop-down at the top of this panel to choose either All or Any from the drop-down menu to filter for results that match either All or Any of the criteria you specify. To remove a single filter criteria, click the Remove This Filter button, which looks like a minus sign, to the right of the Filters field name. You can click the Clear All button to clear all filtering criteria you have created. When you are finished filtering the data, click the Done button that appears at the bottom of the pane to display the toolbar once again. To export the form responses as either a CSV or XML data file, select the Response Records to export if you only want to export selected records. Then click the Export drop-down button in the toolbar at the left side of the form response file and choose either the Export All command or the Export Selected command in the drop-down menu that appears to export either all the form responses or only the selected form responses. Either way, the Select Folder to Save File dialog box then opens. Choose where to save the file and type a name for the file into the file name field. You can use the Save As Type drop-down to select either the CSV or XML file type. Then click the Save button in the dialog box to export the responses and save the file. Note that the exported form responses will still appear within the form response file as well. To archive form responses, which removes the form responses from the current form response file and moves them into an archived form response file, first select the form response records to archive if you only want to archive selected form responses. Then click the Archive drop-down button in the toolbar at the left side of the form response file and choose either the Archive All command or the Archive Selected command in the drop-down menu that appears to archive either all the form responses or only the selected form responses. Either way, the Archive Data dialog box opens. You can archive the responses to either a new archive form response file or an existing archive form response file by clicking either the a new response file or an existing response file option button. If you select the a new response file option button then click the adjacent browse button to open the browse response archive file path dialog box. Use this to select where to save the archive file. You can type a name for the archive file into the file name field if desired. It defaults to the same name as the form response file with underscore archive added to the end of the file name. When you are ready, click the Save button in the dialog box to return to the Archive Data dialog box. If you select the An Existing Response File option button, then click the Adjacent Browse button to open a Browse Response Archive File Path dialog box where you can locate and then select an existing archive form response file. Then click the Open button in this dialog box to return to the Archive Data dialog box. When you are ready to archive the responses, click the Archive button in the Archive Data dialog box. 
The responses will be removed from the current form response file and placed into the selected archive form response file. Note that you cannot archive the responses contained within an archive response file. To manually add a form response received as a PDF attachment from an email and saved to a selected location, click the Add button at the left side of the form response file to open the Add Returned Forms dialog box. Click the Add File button to launch the Add Returned Forms dialog box. Navigate to the location you saved the attached PDF form response file and click it to select it. Then click the Open button in the dialog box to add it to the Add Returned Forms dialog box. You can repeat this process to add other returned and saved PDF response files if needed. When finished, click the OK button in the Add Returned Forms dialog box to add the responses shown within the list of PDFs to the form response file. To delete a form response that was imported, click on the response record within the form response file to delete. Then click the Delete button in the toolbar at the left side of the form response file. Click the Yes button in the message box that appears to delete the selected form response from the form response file. To open the Tracker window from within a form response file, click the Tracker hyperlink in the toolbar at the left side of the form response file. When you are finished using the form response file, simply click the Save button in the toolbar at the top of the window to save the changes. You can then close the file. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.